Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, I'm going to explain you why it's not a good idea to try to catch the bottom on the crypto market. I am going to explain why exactly I am going to give you the reasons why are you not buying right now crypto, Bitcoin or altcoins. And I'm going to give you an example, an exact example of what happened if you DCA versus trying to catch a bottom. So we are going to see that example in detail and I will show you a couple of charts that are marking that we may have been already reached the bottom and I will give you exactly my opinion. Have we reached the bottom already or not? This video is super important. You need to see it until the end. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's go into it. Hey guys, well the question today is always have been reached the bottom, how can I buy in the bottom and why from my perspective is not a good idea to follow those patterns and why DCA is the best option. First of all, let's check some charts from TA analysis, Aurelian Ohio. So he has this chart that has been marking the bear market and the bull market parts of each of the cycles. Remember, in crypto, we are talking about cycles of bear markets and bull markets that they have in marks. So right now, according to his chart, we are already entered into this consolidation phase. The bear market should probably be ended already. And we probably could continue sideways or even have a little of pump and continue and return down a little bit. But according to this chart, we already hit the bottom. Also, he compares the bear market part of 2022 with the previous bear market of 2018, 14 and 11. And from here, he also considers that we reach the bottom part of the bear market. In this chart, he compares the Bitcoin bullishness against the gold. And here, with this support trend line that he has drawn here, He's marking that below that was the bottoms of the bear markets of the previous one. You can have here 2015 and 2020. Actually, we don't have in this trend line at the bear market of 2018. So according to this chart, we also are here in a buy zone. May not be exactly the bottom, but according to the chart, it's probably the bottom also. And in terms of my charts, I already commented many times. Um, we have the Gaussian channel on the weekly where we are actually really below the, the trend line and here we are at 50% down. Each time that we were below of the Gaussian channel on the weekly was the best time to buy crypto and Bitcoin in general. So that is something that you need to consider. Also, I am keep following the 200 weekly moving average. Historically, on all the bear markets was support also 2014-15, the bottom of 2018. And even here, we almost close it below, but recovering on the next candle. And even if we have the big week here, we actually come back above that. It's not the same here. This is the first time in 2022 we close it already four candles. And we are almost closing another one. The fourth candle below the 200 weekly moving average. I am not completely overwhelming to that situation, but being below the 200 for me is for sure and spectacular zone to buy crypto. Initially Bitcoin, but also for the altcoins. So for me, this is an amazing zone. We have here the 285 moving average, which also coincides with the bottom of 2020. And right now has been the bottom, the support on this week. Let me zoom a little bit here. So you can see that week that touches exactly that moving average. So I will keep an eye on that. I am hoping that now, now that will be a support, now that the 200 weekly is broken. But I recommend you to see this video that I did, when is the Bitcoin and crypto bottom? In this video, I show you 14 charts that I think are really, really important to see. And in those charts, we can say that we also have been reaching the bottom and we are very, very near to do it. So from my perspective, it doesn't matter if we reach it or not the bottom. I'm going to tell you right now what doesn't care about that. 
So the best strategy to buy crypto is according to technical analysis. That is the first question that you need to think for yourself. Are you using technical analysis charts to make your strategies and decisions on when to buy and when to sell? Because if not, then probably you need to be a little more educated. I am not saying that everyone needs to be a great trader, but you need to understand and follow charts in order to predict possibilities of what happened with the crypto market. If you are only hearing news and take decisions from there, you are not going to survive this market or actually any market. If this is true or false, it will depend on your own opinion and your own education. And you need to have tested the theory in your own experience. In my case, I have already buying and selling crypto in the past using technical analysis and have been working ex excellent for me. So for me, this is a proven theory. You need to do the same for yourself. I have been already buying here when the crypto market and technical analysis told me to do it. My emotions at that moment was of fear because of the Corona dump, but I didn't care about my emotions or what I was thinking. I only focused on what the technical analysis indicators were telling me. And at that moment, the 13th of March 2020, they were screaming to buy crypto, Bitcoin and altcoins. And that is what I did. Of course, I have been buying since 2017 and 2018 all the bear market before. But here was my, my biggest buy was at that moment. So if you are following this technical analysis in chart, then that will make you, your life more easier. Many charts are pointing a good buy zone right now, even if we could be already at the bottom. According to a lot of technical analysis chart of marker perspective, I already mentioned some charts here on this video and also we have 14 charts to see on the, my previous video of June 23, where I think we may already have filled the bottom of this bear market. So why are you not buying crypto right now? This is what all the media news and another YouTubers are telling right now. We have the inflation records on US. We have the high rate that are continue going up. We need to see in three days what happened. We may have a recession ahead. We have the war, Ukraine-Russia war. We have crypto companies collapsing like Celsius, Free Arrows Capital, BlockFi, and many others. We have this sentence that is sounding around the crypto space that this bear market is different to others. And let me tell you that I hear already in two previous bear markets, the same, the same sentence was all around the crypto space. The other one is this bear market uh, will last for one or two years minimum. That is the other thing that the herd is hearing right now and paying attention. And the media is saying that we are going much lower. Most are saying that we are going to hit 12K on this bear market. So these are all the things that you are listening right now about the crypto space and the general situation of the economic world. I am not saying that this is false. What I am saying that you should not base your strategy only in this type of things. I am not discarding anything of this for my strategy, but the news, the situation that we are experiencing right now in the US and globally actually, all this only occupies a 30% of my decision. The 70% of my decisions are based on technical analysis. And that is why I have been doing it very well in this crypto market since 2017. Make your decisions based on all this will make you feel fear. And what happens when you feel fear? You take decisions based on emotions. So this is exactly what everybody that is not buying right now are experiencing. And this is the same people that was telling when we were at $60,000, $55,000 and $70,000 that Bitcoin for sure it will go to $100,000 and more. Not only the common people, the YouTubers, the news, the media, all of them is the same people that right now are fearful and have all their emotions with fear and all that I can talk about is about this. Put your comments below if you want me to add something to the list. I think this covers everything that we are experiencing right now in the global macroeconomic and mostly related to crypto, but there could be some another things that we missed on this list. 
but anyways probably it will not be a good news it will be something that will cause you fear and emotions in relationship to the fear so this is the reason why you are not buying now let's go to the example of what happened if you start to dollar cost averaging right now so in this example we are going to see what happens if you dollar cost averaging right now versus catching a down bottom price if happens because we don't know that Many charts, like I mentioned, are saying that we already hit the bottom. So let's say that I have $10,000 to invest. If I am going to dollar cost averaging, and this is similar of what I already started to do. No, there are not the exact, the exact numbers, but it's basically what I already started to do. To do. So let's say that I will do dollar cost averaging in five batches. So I divide my $10,000 in five. I already buy at $20,200, I put $1,000 in Bitcoin, so I get a 0 0.0495 Bitcoin for that $1,000. Then when we went down to $19,100, I bought another $1,500. And when we reached the bottom, that is the local bottom right now here, this was around $17,700, so I put a $2,500 buying on bitcoin at that moment so right now i already put three of my positions so the 50 percent of my total money that i have to invest is already allocated and um, i am using bitcoin as an example but you can be using any altcoin that you want i am not one of those that say that it's not a good moment to buy altcoins i am actually buying altcoins right now the risk of that is that if we continue going down the percentage of going down it will be more than with bitcoin but i really don't care i think it's a great moment to buy altcoins also and like you know from my videos i am buying altcoins there are at least a 10x from the all-time high so i get right now i have five thousand dollars to invest yet that i didn't put in the market and i am going only to use it if we continue going prices below the seven thousand dollars so for now if we already reached the bottom i already put the 50 percent of what i wanted to invest so i didn't lose anything and i am actually bought already in the bottom which is what you on the other side want to do without knowing it so if that is the case then i am happy and all the people that i mentioned here that right now are with fear and all that kind of emotions missing the train and of course, they are not going to buy at $25,000 or 30. They are going to start buying at 40 or 50 because they are going to still see about $30,000 that this is just a bull trap and we are going to go lower. The same people, it will wait for that. So for that people that is waiting $12,000, $14,000, they already missed the train. Let's say now that we didn't get the bottom yet. So people that are is waiting $14,400, they are going to put 10 k at once there. At that moment, I will put another $3,000 of the five that I have left. And if we go to $12,000, then I'm going to put $2,000 more, which is the rest that I have from my $10,000. So this will be my allocation of the $10,000 right now, if this is a scenario that play out. Right now, I already put the 50% of my investment. If we continue going down, I'm going to put the, the rest of my investment there. So at that point, I will have 0.64 Bitcoin. So with my dollar cost averaging, this is what I get. So my average entry price at that moment, it will be $16,680. So if you're waiting to Bitcoin reach 14K to put all your money there because you think that is the bottom, then with my strategy, my price will be $16,600. So the difference is only $2,000, even if I started to put money at 20 k So that is what you need to understand. The average price of my entry position starts to go lower because I enter more money when we continue going lower, but I am sure that I enter to the crypto market. And the difference in Bitcoin, it's only 0.05. You can see this is the total that I get doing dollar cost averaging. And if you put 10K at 14K, then you will get 0.694 for Bitcoin. So actually the difference between these two numbers is not really big. Doesn't make it worth it to have all the stress that you have right now trying to catch the bottom instead of do, doing dollar cost averaging. 
of course, if we go to 12K and you put 10,000 there, then the difference is a little more significant. You will be buying 0.83 Bitcoin against 0.6 for Bitcoin that I get for with my dollar cost averaging. And the difference, of course, it would be $4,000 uh, from the price that you bought, catching the bottom at 12K against me doing dollar cost averaging. But the chances for you to catch exactly the bottom if it's $12,000 are really, really small. Actually, I saw a video doing that calculation and you have um, less than a 0.5% chances to catch the bottom. So why have the, that stress? And the question is, do you think that makes you any difference when Bitcoin, it will be in two, three or four years at, at 100K and you think when you enter it? It will be the same if you enter at 12, 14 or $16,000. So it doesn't make any difference. But dollar cost averaging makes no stress at all because you have a strategy planning and you execute it versus trying to catch the bottom. You are going to be distracted all the time with the news and the, what the herd is doing. You are not going to know exactly when is the bottom. Um, also, we have no emotions. You follow a proved working strategy for experts. Experts dollar cost averaging. It's not only me doing it. And you have less risk because you don't miss the train and buy after on higher prices. This is why dollar cost averaging is a best strategy and you should be familiar with this. In this example, you actually can see how it doesn't worth it to trying to catch the bottom actually in terms of gaining risk, stress and everything. And probably you have less possibilities to do it than you think. So guys, that is all for this video. In my opinion, I think we are a 60% chance that we already reached the bottom. So that is why I already put a 50% of my money in the crypto market. If we continue going down, I don't care. I'm going to continue dollar cost averaging the other 50% that I already put in the market. But if we already reach it, like many charts are saying, then I'm okay. I put a 50% of the investment that I wanted. The rest is money that I didn't lose. I just didn't enter into the market. So guys, that is all for this video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And don't forget to share this video if you find value in your social media so you help me to grow the channel. That will be all and I see you with the in the next video. Bye.